How you feeling, Bill? Good. Your beard is looking pretty good right now. Thank you. Feel good. Yeah. It's less gray than maybe it's the lighting. That's because I'm in witness protection over here. <laughs> you do get a little wit. I don't know how the light changes every single time you come on camera. I have literally every light on in my downstairs. I enjoy the Swiffer in the corner right there. That's my thing. Yeah, we got a dual rod. What's the other one for? Plug in your butthole? The broom? <laughs> yeah, the broom. Oh, guys. Fuck off, guys. <laughs> he moves the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of me. I'm super hungover. My butt hurts. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> my butt doesn't hurt. <laughs> I did eat McDonald's today, though. Anyway. Ooh, oh, man. What a fucking... What a double whammy. It's so funny you say that, Bill, because I was feeling pretty shitty myself this morning, and I was like, you know what? I can just go to Burger King, and I'd yeah. feel better. But then I said, no, you won't, Rich. No, you won't. You oh. never, ever, ever feel better. It's different for you, Ray. You live on a constant diet of <laughs> bullshit. Personal pain. Every time I come... Police. Yeah, you got to go some like some kind of grease that is a little bit better than your fast food. the mill fucking fast food. Oh no, I went Big Mac. <laughs> My man, does that help you? It's bad for me. It never works for me. I just feel like fucking garbage. I mean, big Ma- large Big Mac with a Diet Coke, Bill. Oh yeah, yeah. And after <laughs> after I went food shopping, is that McDonald's right there in the Hanover Plaza? Oh, I'm yeah. like, I don't want to do anything, so I went and fucking <laughs> just got McDonald's. <laughs> You Domino's Diet Coke pizza. people. I'll never understand the Diet that. Coke people. I don't get that at all. I'm, uh, Just I get the drink. full I thing. Really, what do you I, think is happening? You think it tastes better? There's no way it tastes better. I like the taste of it more, yeah. Oh, oh fuck you. God, <laughs> you are a segment of America that needs to go away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I try not to drink too much soda anymore, but I, I needed a little bit of caffeine, caffeine to get that, that going. Yeah. I rarely drink any soda, but a, a, a classic Coca-Cola in a can, an like ice-cold can, that'll get me going, boy. That'll get me going. I have a friend that only drinks it, Coke in a glass bottle. What? Oh, he, yeah, was this your friend from uh, was, this, <laughs> was this your friend from grade school no. back in the 50s? Yeah, he's weird, and he only, yeah, no. no. And they just sold <laughs> Coke in the bottles, and they, he likes to go back and relive the old field glory days he is a weird fuck that's for sure <laughs> it's the weirdest guy i've ever met in my life Old bottle coke guy. All right, let's dive in. Welcome to the Simple Mind, Simple Mind Social Hour. I'm liking that more and more, Raymond. You're welcome. Good find, Ray. Good find. Simple Mind Social Hour, and uh, we want to go and run through the best duos slash trios the NBA has to offer today. The reason I put it at duos slash trios is for a selfish reason. We are Celtics fans, and. Uh, I think our team can only be described as a trio or more, honestly, but certainly not a duo. So I, I wanted to extend that definition to, uh, to, to get our Celtics in. And really, I just like to open up the, uh, open up the table, do a little round, round robin discussion about the competition in the NBA revolving around these duos and trios and how it relates to the Celtics and um, their chances of winning a championship this year and moving forward. So I don't really have a whole, I don't really have a, how, you know, any type of um, segments or any type of way I want to do this. I just want to get your guys' opinion on who, who's got the best duo trio and, and how do they relate to the Celtics? So Ray, where, where do you start? Who do you give me your top one or two? If, Los if Angeles Lakers. LeBron James, Anthony Davis. That's the best one-two punch yeah, in the NBA. That You have to start there. But they're out west, so you, know, you won't have to face them to the championship if we make it. So, 
Well, that's you consensus, Bill? I think we're consensus. I think LeBron. Yeah, I had the Lakers. I had Lakers right up there at number one as far as, you know, any team with LeBron, he's going to attract the superstars. And Anthony Davis, top 10 player in the league. I mean, it's, I will say this about Anthony Davis. He's yet to lead a team to success. Right. Unless you consider Kentucky. I was going to say, Kentucky. Did he lead Kentucky? Yeah. yeah. And he was the tournament MVP that year, too. He was a monster in, the, in that Kentucky National Championship. He that was Kentucky the team Kentucky. was fucking stacked. Oh, they were. For sh- oh, yeah. That team was stacked. But if, was you're a top, if you're a top, what do you say, 10, Bill? I say right around there, yeah, 10, yeah. 15. <clears> most right consider him a top five. Most no. consider him a top five. No, I'd say 10. I'd no. say 10 like Bill says, yeah. You could put him. No, oh, well, let's take five. your guys' expert opinion. But most consider him a top five in terms of talent. If you're Even if you're a top 10, top 10, top five talent in the NBA, you should probably be leading your team to the playoffs every single year. That's the, ty- that's the type of league that you're in. Now, I'll, I'll give you your rookie year. I'll even give you your second year. You got to get used to the league. You got to build up. These kids come in young. But he, has, he didn't do that. And he had, a, he had a good team with Rondo there that – that with that squad and then the drew holiday and boogie squad i know boogie got hurt but they really should have been better than they were mm-hmm. and that 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 has always weighed on my mind with ad and he's a seven footer with foot problems yeah so yeah that never in the well. history of the nf in the nba that has never gone well hashtag yao Ming. so yeah uh talent wise uh, i've said it before on this on this program I, I, LeBron is one of the most insufferable people to, to listen to off the court. Um, but on the court, I respect the shit out of him. I, I think, I think he's, you know, our, he's undoubtedly the, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. But for our generation to, to watch him do what he do, what he's done is unbelievable. And I don't, I think he, he can, when he turns the playoff mode on, there's no one better than him. So yeah, I, I guess you put the Lakers on the top. You put Clippers, Right next to him, yeah, yeah. Kawhi, Kawhi and, Leonard, and, PG. And yeah, I like Houston there. Fuck Idiot. Houston with Harden and Westbrook. Fuck Houston. Westbrook's been playing really, really good this year. This is his best season in a while. So you have them at two. You have Houston at two. Uh, I don't know. He's right with the Clippers. I think you can't go. You know. So Rich and I have CB. Rich and I have the Clippers. Okay. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have the Clippers. Bill. Houston has the duo of two who will be at the, at the end of their careers will be considered two of the biggest losers this league has ever fucking seen. Yep. And you only get to find by biggest the two losers that you've ever seen when you have the talent to win and you never do it. Russell Westbrook looked like a man possessed this year, but he does not have the skill set to lead a team to an NBA championship. Doesn't have it. He's a he's a put the ball in my hands and I'll go make something happen. But that doesn't win you a championship. It doesn't. And I get people want to throw the triple doubles in my face all the time. How many wins came with those fucking triple doubles? How many wins came with Russell Westbrook and that KD team? How many wins? He got, you got fucking traded dude, because you can't do it by yourself. And James Harden, James Harden is the biggest loser. The NBA has to offer to this day. He is, will never win an NBA championship unless he's Juwan Howard in it on the fucking end of the bench while somebody else goes and wins it for him. He fucking shrinks in every playoff series he's ever been in. Yep. So want to keep him at two, Bill? No, I guess they're three now, right? <laughs> I don't even have I don't even I don't have, have Houston. Three. I'm a, I have I no have fucking faith in Houston. I have no faith in Houston. What is that? The text you sent earlier, right? They picked to come out of the West, Vegas? Vegas. I didn't say Vegas, it's a Vegas race. Has and them, Vegas. No, but has that was a, the text we got. Vegas has them coming out of the West. All right. That's it. That was on my. I don't even have Houston in my top 10. I did a top 10. They're not <laughs> even on my top 10. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. All right. Let's just hear. Let's just hear Raymond Cheeseburger top 10. No, best no, no. Let's NBA keep going. Let's duos keep going. and trios. Let's just keep I'm, going. I'm excited to see this. Um, all right. So after this, we, we, we get it gets into a little bit of slippery, ter- slippery territory because we got to deal with injuries. Um, I know we said this year, but simple minds to me, the Steph clay Draymond trio oh, yeah. They're up is, there. is going to be a force to be reckoned with for several, several years to come. Obviously I get this year. They didn't play. I mean, and Draymond clearly 
clearly Dude, just care. fucking <laughs> outed himself as yeah you you're not a max guy dude you're not a max guy he was just so, going through the motions too though your two star players haven't played all year and your next player best player is d'angelo fucking russell come on i get that and how fucking and just yeah golden state just has it going on they're gonna think they, whatever they, they're gonna get in the they're gonna the, get the number one pick the draft. And they just got I don't Anthony know if they get number one. And they just got Anthony Wiggins too for D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, I get an underachiever, but yeah, but he's a player you put on a team like that, and and he great could, role player. He could flourish and he could oh, win yeah. you a game, you know, here and there. But um, so uh, you know, I w- I put them third. Obviously, not twenty twenty. They're not gonna, you know, the, the Celtics. Are, obviously, you're not gonna see them if they get to the finals. But next year, they're gonna be right back. They're gonna be right back, challenging the West. Yeah, you're probably talking about two of the top ten shooters of all time, Curry and Thompson. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, dude, Clay Thompson's a told package who can play defense too. Something that Curry doesn't do well. He's a very underrated defender. I fucking love Clay Thompson. I love Clay Thompson too. Oh, me I've too. Wanted, I've wanted Clay we want Thompson. him to come to Boston. I've, I've been telling yeah, yeah. you this. So I've loved Clay. I would love Clay Thompson on the Celtics team. Oh my god, it just gives me a dick hard just thinking about it. So I swap out Hayward for Clay Thompson. Oh uh, my! Oh now God. you're. Oh now we now we've lost oh. Ray. Ray's get it. Ray just went to his happy place real quick. <laughs> it's like that Billy Mattis, uh Happy Gilmore scene when he's off in the fucking his happy place right now. That's what I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Clay Thompson is just so. Fun. Yeah, oh, well that's so never good. gonna happen. So let's start daydreaming. Um. Sorry, I don't Ray. have that. Did I don't I have them at number three. Yeah. So where do you I, got? Where do you, let's get. Let, let's get. I this. did the 2020. So I did this season. So all I right. Have, let's get the Big Mac. Let's get the Big Mac Big Ten. So I got Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, and Zach Collins. Boo. Three. Boo. No, not Zach Collins. Don't they have a center that's really good? Yeah, his name's Zach Collins. Oh, oh Nurkic. Nurkic. Yeah. Yeah, but he's hurt. Zach Collins is not. He's going to be playing this year. Zach For, Collins is not, not even a, a fucking playoff team. Not even Ray, a fucking next. playoff team, Ray. God next. damn it. You just exposed your goddamn cheeseburger list right off the bat. Look, okay, Damian next. Lillard is a badass, but first of all, he chirps too much. He bitches mm-hmm. and whines too much for my life. Rich, Rich, how, how long have you known me? <laughs> I mean, come on. This is, like my, this is like my idol right there. I Dame, mean, I Dame get Dalla. that. Dame Dalla. McCollum is – I like him because he's a down – he's a dirty dog player and he fucking yeah. hits big shots. I love that guy. I love that guy. But, no, I don't think that – though. I don't think you can have a – I don't think your duo can be in your backcourt with both guys at 6'4". What are they? 6'4"? What is – 6'5", maybe? That's uh, tall. Yeah. That's tall. <laughs> I know. You think it's tall. It's not tall for the NBA. I don't – I don't think you can have a, a guard duo that's going to lead you to a, to a championship. And Nurkic is good, but um, no, that's a stupid fucking pick, right? Who, who do you got? Who do you got after that? Or Bill, did you have anyone you want to throw in the? Uh... He had Houston, which is a stupid pick. No, he has saying... Houston two through six. <laughs> I'm just letting Ray go. <laughs> Keep going with your list, you fucking idiot. So at four, I have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Uh, next. Are you serious? Oh. Boo! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Ray? If you put them with a good coach, these kids, these two would be unstoppable. They hate, they hate each other. First yeah, of because- all, they fucking hate each other. First of all, second of all, Simmons can't shoot. Why? I know that it's said a lot, but why do people not pay attention to it? Why do people yeah. not pay attention to it and 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 use it against him? He's a facilitator. No, he's not. He's not even that great of a facilitator. He's a fast yeah. break player. He's Scottie Pippen who can't shoot. He, he, he's only successful on the fast break, and he's a good defender. He's Scottie Pippen, but can't shoot. Scottie Pippen was a good shooter. Would you Simmons take, can't shoot. Would you take these two on your team? Simmons can not shoot the basketball, and he is in the NBA. They stopped the game. And congratulated him when he made his first career three pointer. They, they put the oh, ball in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> fucking despicable. You have him in your top five, and yep. Joel Embiid. Yeah, he's a beast, but he's a dog. He is a quitting dog. Give Give me Denver in that spot. I love the Denver guys. Joe Jochik, Jamal Murray, and you saw the Michael Joker, Mike, Joker, whatever. And you have Michael Porter Jr. there who missed his whole rookie year. Yeah, well, that was well, a steal in the draft. That was a steal in the draft. So, Maybe I mean, he's got a Murray. fucking back injury. He's a question mark. But Jamal Murray is is legit. Jamal Murray is a bad. Sorry, Bill. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. No, no. I'm just saying I would put them over. Philly, any day. I, I would, I would rather build around Jochik and, and Murray than in Beam and Simmons, because I think Murray's fucking disgusting. Yeah, thousand, I mean, a thousand percent, yes. I have them at six. If Mike, especially if Michael Porter it gets healthy and can contribute, which Denver thinks they can, 
that this team, I mean, they're what th- third or fourth in the West anyways, before Although they, they have there. Gary Harris too. Who's a good, who's a really, really yep. nice, good player there. Um, I love what, what Denver has um, the jokers. One of the like top five favorite players just to watch in the NBA. He's just at his position. He's like, remember uh, Sabonis? No, oh, yeah. On the Blazers. That's who he reminds me of, but probably better. Dude, he came in the league when he was like 32, too. Yeah, he was playing overseas. Yeah, um, yeah I like that pick. Right. The Sixers are out of my top 10. I have <laughs> zero fucking faith in the Sixers. I understand the talent, and people are talent sluts, and, and I, can, I, can, I can get that. But I don't, I don't think that's everything. And I, and I, think, results, I think results tell you that. And Bede's a fucking dog. And you didn't even mention Horford for good reason. There's a good reason for that. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> if he's on the Celtics, he's in the conversation. If he's mm. on the Sixers, he's fucking knowing. Fuck you. You, you fucking people. Unbelievable. Al, like, Horford you... on, Al Horford on the Celtics. Right now? Made that team fucking. If Al Horford's on the Celtics, they are rivaling the Lakers for the number one. For Vegas will give them the odds to win the championship. Mm. If they're on the Celtics, they are, they're coming out of the East. It's I almost agree. guaranteed. I agree. Horford stops Embiid, and Horford uh, slows down Giannis, who in the playoffs is not what he is in the regular season. If you have Al Horford instead of Daniel Tice, this team beats pretty much anybody in, in the NBA 50-50 on any given night. Thousand, uh, I mean, they're, they're talking about the Celtics having the best starting five in the NBA right now. I get Al Horford's a 14-point scorer, eight rebound. He's not putting the numbers up. But the dude ran your offense – collect and 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 held down your defense in the post he's a seven footer you're fucking whacked raymond you're 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 big you're big mac big 10 is really losing steam here but let's continue who else all right got? i got the uh Giannis anatatupo <laughs> chris middleton at five for me okay bill do i still lose steam there Keep yeah going, you're right. fucking I, I'm, you're I'm struck taking- you're fucking struggling, buddy. Bill's physically struggling. He can't, he, Bill can't the, even open his eyes. The 4th of July so is bleeding out of his nostrils. It's my favorite and, holiday. And Ray Grease is <laughs> – it's my favorite holiday. <laughs> Grease stains are, are, are fucking up your list because that can't be right. I put, the Celtics got to come in here, people. The Celtics, the Celtics have got to come in here. I put the Celtics over the Bucks. I put the Celtics over the Bucks too. So I, I have, you're asking you have, my list, not your guys' list. I know, but I'm asking you list so I can shit on it. Okay. Go ahead, Bill. I like the Celtics here over the Bucks. Yep. Okay. Over the Bucks for sure. Tatum and Brown, and then you throw in Kemba if you want to say the trio. That's more for me. It's more talent. I'm not a big Chris Middleton guy. I really not. I mean, he does really good against the Celtics, but I think he's an overpaid player. And if he left the Bucks system, you would see how overhyped he really is. I don't think he's that good. You know, he just – again, he plays well against the Celtics, but he's close to a max guy. You have two, three max – legitimate max guys on your team right now in Brown, Tatum, and, and Kemba. So, I mean, the trio right there. And, and especially young guys, you're talking about two guys that are 22 and 21 years old. Yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking – superstars. <clears throat> I'm taking Brown, I'm taking Tatum, and I'm taking Kemba over. I'm taking them over Harden and Westbrook. I'm taking him over, who we did not mention because it is 2020. And these guys didn't play, and fuck them. They're dead to me forever. Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin, yeah. sorry, I'll get, I'll get back to my list of who I'm taking the Celtics over, but can we just talk about Kevin Durant will never be the player that he was before. No one who has had that injury has ever come back to be the player they were before, and Kyrie Irving is officially off the reservation. Kyrie Irving will never be able to get to – to the status of basketball player that he was because his He's mental gone. commitment is, gone. is gone. It's absolutely shattered when it comes to NBA basketball. It's gone. It's, it's fucking gone. So I, I have no faith to no surprise to anybody at all. I have zero faith in Kyrie Irving and um, I, I don't believe Kevin Durant, he, he he's going to have to win me back. His talent is undeniable. He's he's undeniable. But between that injury and his decision to go to Golden State, you you got to go, you better go win a fucking championship oh, with, yeah. with Brooklyn for me to ever think of you as as someone who who, who should be considered the top of the league again. Um, 
I like Spencer Dinwiddie did win a little bit of both of those fucking guys. That guy's going to get paid. Oh, yeah, yes. And so Bitcoin. That's all he wants. Bitcoin, baby. <laughs> Hashtag trillion. Put that on your jersey. Oh, shit. <laughs> National debt. Um, yeah, I'm taking the Celtics over there. Um, I'm close on the Denver. I like fucking Denver. I like those guys a lot. But you know what? Tatum and Kemba pushed me over. I, I, so you have Denver. At, I put Celtics at four, Denver at five. If that's where we're going on the list. Let me I, – the only guys I have, the only – dude, maybe not call – too far. Call me a homer, but I think I have Celtics at three. Wow. I think it's the L.A. teams and the Celtics. Because – now, look, well, I know – if you know, age and potential, I agree. I could probably get on that. But I have no – but it's playoffs. It's not talent for me. I have zero faith in James Harden and Russell Westbrook. I have zero faith in James Harden showing up and being James Harden in the playoffs, and I have zero, zero faith in Russell Westbrook being able to uh, get a team over a hump in the playoffs. He might, he might go off for 42, 10, and 12, but they'll lose by six. Yep. Yeah. And James Harden will go two for 25 from the strike, from three. So I don't have faith in the Rockets, therefore I put the Celtics over them. I have faith that Kemba's a big game player. I've seen Jason Tatum hit shots. I've seen Jason Tatum as a 20-year-old kid go up against, in L.A., Kawhi and LeBron and fucking take it to him. I think Jalen Brown is a bad motherfucker. I don't think any – I don't think Jalen Brown is intimidated by anybody. Literally anybody. He basically told Kyrie to fuck off and ruin the Celtics teams last year. He's dunked over Giannis. He's dunked on everybody in the league, basically. Jalen Brown's a bad motherfucker, and I don't worry about him in the playoffs at all. Gordon Hayward has a pregnant wife, so that sucks. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about trios. So, I look, I put the Celtics at three, and I think there's a lot of good fucking... I put a, there's a lot of good guys that we like haven't even mentioned here. The, 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 the Jazz and hey, Donovan, hey, hey. Donovan hey. Mitchell and Gobert. Oh, sorry, Ray. Sorry to ruin your Big Mac list. Um, I kind of attacked it there. So we can keep going. Where are we at? I, I've completely destroyed the whole conversation. I'm sorry about that. But All right. um, you were going uh, off the fucking rails, bringing in Simmons and Embiid. At, what did you put him at? Four? Yep. Five? Four. Four. Fuck Four. you, Ray. Fuck you. Five's Milwaukee. Six, I have Boston. Tatum, Brown, Walker. Unbelievable. You're what, is it about, what is it about Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid that you think is better than Kemba, Jalen, and Jason? Tell me the specifics. If what they could made you actually put that get to, if they could actually coexist, that team would be nasty. What team? And Philly. What they can't? They've been, they've been. We're not dealing with ifs and buts, you dumb. Cunt. They could be. They could be the fucking like the new school Utah Jazz with Carl Malone and John Stockton. If they could coexist. <laughs> oh if they could coexist. You're the dumbest motherfucker here. Are you serious? Bottom of the oh totem pole, baby. God. Bottom of the oh fucking totem God. pole. You're a fucking moron. At best, you have to compare them to Showtime Lakers. Those are the, those are the two guys no. that you can fucking pair to. No. Yes. Magic could shoot. Magic can shoot and yeah, well, everybody can shoot better than Ben Simmons. Ben but Magic Simmons Johnson could not shoot, shoot that well, Simmons. first of all. Magic I Johnson disagree. did not shoot that well. And and no, you're whatever. Either way, your comparisons suck. Your anal your analysts damn it. I fucked that word up. Yeah, Fuck idiot. You. Fuck you, Ray. Who's Who you your seven? Who's seven? Uh Luka Doncic and Christos Porzingis. Yeah. I like that. I like that pick better than. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. If you take your Sixers duo and put them outside the top 10, I can get behind a lot of what you're saying. All right. Except for the Celtics being at six. I don't think that's right. Well, you know, shit happens. Oh, yeah. The, the, the Blazers backcourt. Blazers backcourt is brutal. That's a brutal pick for you. Yeah, that that's sucks. But that sucks. So, let's go to Luka. Uh, do you think he's going he's gonna to be a top three player in this league in the next five years? You can't play defense. Who wins an MVP first, Luka or Tatum? I see this all the time on Facebook. Um, probably Luka because I think the Celtics are operating under the Golden State model where they're going to have a full team effort. And and Tatum is – actually, I'm talking myself out of it in my head. I don't know. I think Luka will have – my point is I think Luka will have more of a spotlight because I think it's going to be him and Porzingis where the Celtics basically have a big three, if not big four, for the next – four to five years so 
I think because of that, and Luca is the fucking darling of the NBA, and everybody loves him, and he's a highlight reel, and he has the ball in his hands every single play because he's a point guard. The, all of those things work to the benefit when you're talking about individual awards. Um, but I'd rather have Tatum nine times. I'd rather have Tatum ten times out of ten. He's the perfect prototype as a as your number one in the NBA. He's a six ten fucking guard that can shoot the lights out and play defense. This question goes to Bill. Bill, have you seen Luca's mom? No. Look her up when you got a chance. She a fox? <laughs> Fucking stone cold fox, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. she's on Sports Center like every other day. She's fucking. I don't watch Sports Center. I hate ESPN. Fuck smoke show, smoke show, Bill. You're welcome in advance. All right, let me write this down though, so I can look it up. Yeah, this well, might take a, take a screenshot. And 45 minutes. Don't worry. You just get like a couple different like you know uh, tabs open on your phone. You'll be fine. We'll Ooh, send. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. we'll we'll send you a slideshow. A 45 minute slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> old, uh, old school Microsoft slash show that should work. I like that. I think Porzingis is going to come back into form too. But you know, I don't know. Yeah, kind of bad injury ACL. Right, he missed what a yeah. year and a half. And the yeah. whole rape thing. Don't forget that. Uh, oh, that everyone tough. else did. America forgot yeah, about. I it. forgot don't about that until you just mentioned it. Rich doesn't forget. Unbelievable. Last summer. Uh, last summer. Yeah, maybe. It was right when he got traded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't even back yet. He wasn't even yeah. playing again. Or he was just yeah. starting to play when the allegations came out. Nothing came of it. I'm sure he paid somebody off. We got a Ben Roethlisberger situation. Yeah, most on. of them do. Um, I didn't touch on your Giannis Middleton pick. I, I, yeah, I think, I mean, obviously Giannis sways that, sways that duo or trio, whatever you want to call it. You can put Bledsoe in there if you want to go with the trio. Both Bledsoe and, and, and Chris Middleton are – Basically role players on most other teams. Chris, Chris Middleton, we have a skewed view because you said it, Bill. He fucking scorches the Celtics. Guy shoots like 89% from the field against the Celtics. I don't know why. He just – one of those things. Um, but the Celtics defend Giannis pretty well. So it's always – maybe that's why. Maybe because they are overextending themselves to stop or slow down Giannis that Middleton just has the looks and he knocks it down. Either way – um, it's just that that duo is just about Giannis, right? There's there's not there's not a like, whole lot of people clamoring for Chris Middleton. He got a max deal because he works on the boxes so well. I thought Brogdon was the better guy to keep than Chris Middleton, and they let him go. Like they traded a first round pick, but Brogdon I think is a more all around better player, and they stole him in the second round. I mean, I get it was a weak draft. He was a rookie of the year that year, but he's where's he now? That, uh, Indiana. 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 I would have loved Brogdon. Yeah. Brogdon would have. Again, you want to talk about another Celtics killer? Middleton and Brogdon murdered killer. the Celtics. Absolutely man. killed him. And you, we got. Did they trade got, him? No, he was a free agent. He was a restricted free agent. A, yeah, he went to Indiana. He signed yeah, for, for, and Indiana signed him out. I think they got a first round pick out of that, though, because they think it ended up being like a sign and trade or something. Look it up. Uh, I'm you. They got a first I don't round know. Pick out of the either, either way, I well, I know he was a restricted free agent. Whether it ended up being a sign and trade or not, I don't know. But I remember thinking the Celtics should go after this guy. Imagine, imagine if you have Brogdon instead of Brad Wanamaker. Right. If you had Malcolm Brogdon as your backup point guard. Right. Yeah. Like, that's the one guy. So, a, Bill, Bill, you just sent me that fucking Jamal Crawford or sent us that Jamal Crawford thing the other day. What the fuck, Danny? Yeah. Where what the, the fuck? Dude, he's looking good. He's looking great. Jumpers in his backyard. Come on. get on 12 the- minutes a game. 12 minutes a game in the playoffs, especially when Gordon Hayward's going to go watch his fucking fourth kid be born. Right. You don't think Jamal Crawford can come in and give you 12 points in 12 minutes and be the one guy that keeps you in a game? It, all these games that your bench has lost you all season long? Come on. What are we doing? He's Maybe he doesn't a, want to come. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, it might be on him. I, but I don't know. But he didn't want to go to either LA team either. He didn't want to go play for the Lakers or Clippers. So who does he want to play for? Where is he from? Where does he live? Atlanta, I think. I think he lives outside of Atlanta. That's pretty goddamn close to Orlando. I think. I don't know, though. I thought you were going to say it's pretty close to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just need him for Orlando. <laughs> Look, we need you for three months. All you have to do is go to Orlando. There's no travel involved. You just have to yeah. go live in a bubble, and, uh, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you can drive down there. You don't even have to fly. Drive your don't even have to. Don't even have to fly. Someone else can drive you. I'm sure you got a driver. Some kind of posse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, shit. shit. Well, anyway, that kind of went off the rails. That's what happens when you have a host that has no plan. You just fucking completely go off the rails yeah. and get a dog shit Big Mac Big Ten list from... I'm not even done. Yeah, I know. I want to keep hearing your shit. All right. Was... You're right, Ray. I'm sorry. It's all right. Eight. So I hold have... on. Let's, let's, uh, re- right. let's recap one through ten. Let's, okay. do, let's do a quick recap of one through ten. We'll put the... Uh, We'll put the the NFL primetime music behind this. All right. I got the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James and Anthony Davis at one. Well, I don't know. I don't know, boom. I don't know about that one. Whoop. Whoop. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George at two. That's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Three, I got Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Zach. Unbelievable. Oh That's going to haunt you oh forever. God. That is going to haunt you forever. This I'm one's make- going to haunt me forever, obviously. Four, I got Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Oh, God. How could you do that? Did Jesus you put any thought into this Christ. at all? Jesus yes, Christ, I right. did. Jesus Christ, right. Okay. Five, I got Giannis Anatotupo and Bucks. fucking Chris Middleton. Oh, yeah, God. So- That's, I mean... Just this is the that worst only list I've ever seen. That only works because of the two teams you named before. <laughs> Six, I got Tatum, Brown, and Walker. Okay. Uh huh. Seven, I got Luka Doncic. Or no, six, I got Luke. No, yeah, seven, I got Luka well, Doncic. Just... Christos Porzingis. No, hold on, hold on. You just fucked up numbers. Yeah, well, I'm not Bill. You just so fucked that's... up counting one through ten. Simple Mavs mind. Are seven. Mavs Number are seven. six is the Celtics. You have seven Six's as Porzingis Don- and Porzingis. Okay. Eight, I got Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray from Denver. Okay. Nine, I got DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge from San Antonio. Oh, come on. And ten, I got Pascal Siakam and Kyle Lowry from Toronto. That's respectful. You put the fucking Spurs in there? Yikes. I love the Spurs. If I had another team, it would be the Spurs. They just do it Ooh, right down there. That is the, this is the worst list I've ever seen. Well, let's hear your list, you fucking cunts. I already gave you. I'm pretty sure I already I gave I, you mine. No, you didn't. You guys were just going. Well, uh-huh. Hold on. I'm going to give. I'm going to give. Is, Rick. No, what? no, no. Let me tell you. This is how Bill and Rich's list was. Rich would say a team and Bill would go, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that's a great pocket pick. <laughs> that's how it fucking went. One through five. Other than that, I don't know what the fuck happened. Well, let's my, see. We don't have Portland, Philly, Philly, or the Bucks in our top five, so who's a fucking idiot now? No, there's no, there's undeniably no doubt that you were a fucking idiot, right? You idiots at fucking Golden State. They didn't even have those guys playing this year, you idiots. Now, I will give you one caveat. There were a the couple teams that uh, I extended my 2020 list yeah. for injuries, <laughs> including the Golden State Warriors. And Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, but you know what? They're out of my top 10 because those guys are dead to me. Thank you. What about the Kings? But so are the fucking Sixers. Nice little trio there, the Kings, I think. Yeah, how many playoff games do those dinks win? Zero, you fucking idiot. Who's the fucking idiot now, you fucking dink? I'm angry. I'm very angry in the you basement. Just, you just oh, yeah, that's the good. worst fucking list we've ever heard. Well, let's hear yours, you fucking tool. I didn't know I had to go top 10. <laughs> Well, what the fuck do you think you're going to do? Bill went I, top two. I, yeah, top two, that's it. Bill went top two. That's I, good. I, have the, I have the Celtics at five. He screenshotted a, a tweet and was like, okay, that's my notes. <laughs> then, he grabbed his, then he grabbed his Sharpie and just started jotting shit down. Yeah. He can't even read it. It's not even legible. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> those are just fucking – those are just pictures of cartons of milk. There's nothing <laughs> – that's when he it's his memories coming up when he was on the carton of milk lost kid <laughs> oh fuck you <laughs> oh shit no look right oh, i appreciate the work you, fireworks time i appreciate the work you put in but your your number four and five teams are just on uh, just abysmal just just on did you have the rocket where did you put the rockets they're not on my list <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't stand the rockets those two douchebags, fucking, they can't win anything. Look, you have to, listeners, you have to respect. Uh, with, with stupidity, you also get emotion. And that's the only way. That's the only way Ray knows how to work is out of spite. Yeah. Out of spite and out of love. That's it. That's all you got. I don't, you know, I'm not mad at it, except for your pick sucked. 
The only thing I got you guys as is L.A., L.A., Houston, Denver, Boston. That's all you guys got. No, no, no. I have Boston at three. Do not oh, forget that. I, I have Boston, Boston at three. I got Boston at four. I'll give you my fucking list right now, you piece of shit. All right, hold on. Rich, Bill, go ahead. At number one, Los Angeles Clippers. Ooh, <laughs> we got Clippers. Here we go. I like Kawhi better than I like AD. I respect LeBron. But I think Paul George can fucking ball out. Number two, LeBron and AD. It's really one, one A, one B. Those yeah, guys are all absolutely. Ready. Yeah, yeah. Three, I put the Celtics. I'm not going to go into why. I went into why earlier. Because you're wearing me. Boston underwear right now. This is why. Go yeah. on. Uh, at number four, do I get to do I get to pick uh, Golden State? No, it's a fucking stupid pick. <laughs> They're not even playing this year. I think we should be allowed to pick Golden State. No, Thanks, fuck. Oh, fuck you guys. Two against one, bitch tits. Go ahead. All right, whatever. That's where Golden State would be, but I'll go off race stupid fucking rules. Um, Thank at, you. Oh, well, now I got to – hold on. Now, now let me rethink. At number four, at number four, I think I'm going to go – I think I'm going to go with the Denver boys. Hmm. I think I'm going to go – uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go Murray and, and, and the Joker there. Um, at number five, at number five, I'm going to go Milwaukee. Okay. Yep. I'm going to go Giannis there at six. Begrudgingly, I'm going to go Houston. Ugh. At seven, at seven, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Dallas like that oh wait no i'm gonna go utah utah seven dallas is eight you want to talk about people that hate each other donovan mitchell rudy gobert ben nah, simmons Joel they'll Embiid. figure it out um don't forget mike connelly's there and mike connelly's also too. there mike connelly's as old as you bill Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> we're the same age you cunt i'm not 47 trust uh, me oh shit damn it hold on i might have fucked this up Mm-hmm. Um, bump, bump, um, Utah down, and put. Give me uh, Toronto. Oh, Toronto should be the top of what those last three, those last two I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! So Toronto, then Houston, then Utah. Yeah, and okay. then my tenth team. Um, my tenth team is anybody except for Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the league. I'll Fuck take Philly. I'll take the fucking field against Philly. I think that they are trash. All right, trash can. Let's hear yours. All right. Oh no, we uh, you, mine's. It was just said. That's Bill's. <laughs> yeah, you do. he's gonna go rich. Great. <laughs> no, I got a little different. Lakers at one. Yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking Lakers. I'll do Clippers at two. Since we can't put Golden State in there, I would have put slid Golden State at a three, but I'm going to go Celtics at three. You yeah. fucking – yeah. you had Houston at – he had Shut Houston. The fuck up. Yeah. You had Houston at three when we did this originally. I oh, talked I him out of Houston. I changed it. Yeah, because fucking Rich took his dick out, and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm going to slide Denver in at four. I like Ooh. Denver at four. Nice. And then I'll go Rockets at five. Red Rockets. Yeah, I got, I got Bucks at six. I'll roll Mavs at seven. I like Utah at eight. Toronto at nine. And then oh, I don't – anyone besides Philly at ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually – no, truthfully, I, I, I like uh, Devin Booker and um, Aton or whatever his name is. Yeah, they just haven't proved a lot of yeah, potential but, there. But, but a potential there. So I, I feel comfortable putting them at ten. Or I uh, – and I mentioned before, I do like the Kings – with Bagley and De'Aaron Fox and uh, Buddy Heald there. I do like that young little trio. They did well last year because they fucked us all excited for a nice draft pick. Kind of came back to work this year, but either – I think uh, Bagley was hurt. They had some injuries Either there. the Suns or the Kings, I want to put them at 10. Uh, and at 27, I'll go Philadelphia. They're just so fucking terrible. They're just so trashy. But Ooh. honorable mentions, Indy, Olo Depot, um, so not playing, just, not playing. They're in the Golden State bin with raised hopes and dreams. 
Yeah. Nah. If they're not playing, they can't be on the list. But if Golden State was playing, they're top three. Oh, Clay, fuck yeah. Clay and Steph are fucking disgusting. Ruined their second season. They could um, this the was the Simple Mind Social Hour, ladies and gentlemen. The best duos and trios in the NBA. Sorry, we went off the rails a little bit there. That was a little bit of what we call NBA blabber and chatter. Um, but for you hoop heads, I'm sure you could follow along, get what we're saying. Uh, let us know what you think of a couple idiots and raise Big Mac Big Ten. That fucking piece of work. Unbelievable. I hope people listen to this and agree with me, and then I'll be fucking very – Hold on. Let's well, – LA, LA, that was LA this. Portland, <laughs> Philly, Bucks, Celtics, Mab, Denver, San Antonio, hold Toronto. On, hold yeah. on. Can we live that, relive that bottom of the totem pole of dumb statement? I hope people listen to this and agree with me. <laughs> That's something you write down. Man, that was the you've ever said. You can't say that. Fucking Billy Bill Bill Brady. At the goddamn end. Jesus Christ. I did that on purpose because you were yelling at me the last one that I haven't dropped one in a while, so I just figured I'd throw one out there. Well, that's not a problem. It was only like the fifth one you said all night, so that's fine. All right. Thanks for for hanging out, and we'll catch you next time. Bill? That was a bit better.